this has been a pretty strange year for science. So here are some of the strangest stories that we've come across here at Live Science. First up, it's slimy, it's greasy, it's a fatberg. A massive fatberg of kitchen oils, diapers, and other flushed garbage that was plugging up a London sewer is actually going to do some good as fuel. Workers are removing the fatberg and converting it to biofuel, which burns more cleanly than fossil fuels. The fatberg is so big that they expect it to produce more than 2,000 gallons of fuel. And did a volcanic eruption doom an Egyptian dynasty? All signs point to yes. An October study suggested that fallout from volcanic activity might have led to the downfall of the Ptolemaic dynasty, which prospered from 305 to 20 BCE. But the society didn't go down in flames. Rather, the eruption is thought to have disrupted the monsoon season, stopping floods and leading to fewer crops. Remember that time that maternity leave made news in the animal world? As we now know, chimpanzees go on maternity leave. One chimp who didn't get the memo had her infant stolen and cannibalized moments after she gave birth. The next time this chimp gave birth, she left the group and went into hiding, that is, maternity leave, and successfully delivered her infant in Tanzania. Meanwhile, neuroscientists figured out why your brain grows and shrinks as you learn. A November paper argues that the brain first swells with many extra neurons to cope with a new skill or bit of information. After that, it shrinks again as it kills off all but the bare minimum of new neurons it requires to remember what it's learned. And lovers of the drinks Moscow Mules might want to reconsider how they serve up these libations. Over the summer, health officials in Iowa warned against serving the drinks in the classic copper mug. The reason? Acidic beverages can cause copper to leach out into the liquid, and consuming too much of this metal can lead to copper poisoning. Back in September, a Viking warrior thought to be a man was found to be a woman, based on DNA analysis of remains found in a ring of Viking graves on an island in Sweden. Her body was buried with weapons such as arrows and swords. The discovery raises questions about the roles of women in Viking society, which was historically thought of as a male-dominated culture. Who can forget the lizardfish, the deepest super predator on record that deep sea fishermen caught off the coast of Australia? This fish buries itself in the ocean floor, waiting for prey that it can dart out and grab. Some lizardfish are fluorescent, but it's not yet clear whether this particular species can glow. Remember when a pair of theoretical physicists discovered a subatomic event so energetic they considered keeping it a secret? When two heavy subatomic particles known as bottom quarks fuse together with a third, lighter quark, they release nearly eight times as much energy as the reaction inside hydrogen bombs. Fortunately, they discovered there's no way to assemble enough bottom quarks to build a quark bomb. Are two heads better than one? In June, we learned about a flatworm that was sent to the International Space Station, and it surprised scientists by growing a second head after its tail was amputated. The worm went to space so researchers could observe how microgravity and fluctuations in the geomagnetic field affected the worm's unusual ability to regenerate. And in September, translucent jelly-like blobs about the size of giant beach balls were sighted off the coast of Norway. Though scientists couldn't explain the blobs, they had one idea. The gelatinous spheres could have been squid egg masses. For now, though, the blobs will remain a mystery, at least until scientists can grab a DNA sample. That's 2017 strangest news. How weird is it going to get in 2018? There's only one way to find out. Live Science will keep you posted on 2018. Catch you on the flip side.